Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov lauds China's Belt and Road Initiative as key to promoting cooperation in the Eurasia region. Mr. Lavrov met Chinese counterpart Wang Yi in Beijing as a head of the Belt and Road Forum that starts tomorrow. Representatives from more than 100 countries are attending the third Belt and Road Summit to mark the initiative's 10th anniversary. Topping that guest list is Russian President Vladimir Putin. This will be Mr. Putin's first trip to a major global power since his country's invasion of Ukraine threw Moscow into international isolation. Now for more, Olivia Song joins us. She's live in Beijing. Oli, Chinese officials have hailed this forum as the country's most important diplomatic event of the year. What can we expect over the next two days? Yes, Don, that's right. Besides the tangible deliverables and agreements that are set to be signed, this will be a gathering that will be closely watched for its symbolism. Being called the most important diplomatic event of the year for China is the first time that the Belt and Road Forum is taking place in person since the COVID-19 pandemic, and it's to be attended by representatives from over 140 countries. And they have started arriving here in the Chinese capital today we saw uh, the Indonesian and Serbian presidents arrive and later we are expecting Russian President Vladimir Putin to touch down here in his first trip to China since the Ukraine war began. Now Chinese state broadcaster CCTV in reporting on these arrivals have used the tagline that these are friends arriving from afar. China keen to show that it has its own allies amid its tensions with the US-led West. Also timely given what's taking place in Israel and the Gaza Strip, looming large over the forum. Uh, the Middle East, also an area where China has increasingly shown interest in playing a greater role in, in a counterbalance to the U.S. Now, tomorrow, representatives will be hosted to a welcome banquet. And the day after, that's when the opening ceremony of the forum will take place. And the Chinese president is expected to make a closely watched speech. Olivia, China's recovery for its economy has gone slower than expected since the pandemic. How has the country's priorities for the Belt and Road Initiative changed over the past 10 years? Don, going back to when this project was launched, it was once hailed as the Chinese president's project of the century, part of an ambitious attempt to build more infrastructure from rails, railways to roads to link Asia with Europe and Africa. Countries, uh, primarily less developed ones, have seen an infrastructure boom, but it's also come with challenges and much criticism. In the past 10 years, uh, the project has run into issues due to the COVID-19 pandemic and economic woes. It's also been accused as laying a debt trap for uh, less developed countries. Domestically, the hype of the BRI has also seemed to have fizzled out uh, over the years as China faces its own economic issues. Analysts say uh, there may be concerns among the domestic uh, population if China is seen to be spending too much overseas. So this forum will be key, analysts say, and will be closely watched and is likely to signal a new chapter and possibly a new direction for this project that's seen as President Xi's pet project. Oli, thank you for that update. Olivia Song there in Beijing.